Hi friends, now we will discuss on the topic syngas to liquid fuel production. So, in the previous class we have discussed how the syngas can be produced from the natural gas and now we are going to discuss how this syngas will be converted to liquid fuels. So, the contents of this class is why syngas to liquid fuel and then some important routes for liquid fuel production from syngas. So, why syngas to liquid fuel? Already we have discussed that if we convert syngas to liquid fuel, then we will be getting more market, we will be getting the value added products, different types of chemicals or some liquid fuels. So, that is the major features of this liquid fuel conversion. Now, we see natural gas which is available in nature. So, from this, this, this reserve it can go through the pipeline and then it can be used in different application particularly for heat application say it, it go to conventional market or it can be liquefied. So, liquefied natural gas then also we have some supply chain arrangement already existing and then it will be going to conventional market. So, these are the two conventional routes, but if we go through this third one route that is GTL route then this is a new technology and here we get some large existing transfer fuels market, we have good market and we can get chemicals also. So, that is the advantage and that is why people are trying to convert it into liquid fuels. Another is natural gas has low energy density, but if it is converted to liquid fuels energy density will be increased. So, application of this in transport fuel will be easier than the natural gas. Now, we will see different methods which are used for this syngas to liquid fuel conversion. So, one is fischer trough synthesis. So, fischer trough synthesis syngas is converted to liquid fuels that is called say diesel, petrol, kerosene etcetera. So, what happens in this case at first we get wax, then wax is hydrotated to get different products of it after fractionation. So, the basic reactions we can see here CO plus H 2 we have in the syn gas. So, that will produce a the hydrocarbon chain as mentioned here C H 2 N. So, this hydrocarbon chain we can get or N C O plus 2 N plus 1 H 2 this reaction can take place C N plus H 2 N plus 2 plus N H 2 O. So, we are getting paraffin type of compounds. Again same other reaction can take place N C O plus 2 N H 2. So, C N H 2 N plus N H 2 O olefin type of compounds we may get. And again CO plus H2O, CO2 plus H2 water gas shift reaction can also take place. So, overall reactions is strongly exothermic minus 180 kilojoule per mole in this reactions. So, we are getting basically hydrocarbons, all paraffins and olefins basics. So, once the paraffins are produced and carbon number is if this N number is higher then we will be getting wax. So, that wax is the major product by this first step of this FT synthesis, then that will be converted to different liquid. So, if we see the flow sheet, then we are having the syngas, so 2 is to 1 hydrogen is to CO ratio, then it is coming to FT reactor, then FT reactor will basically give us olefins and paraffins type of, type of compounds. So, higher carbon paraffins means wax. So, we will be having wax here or we may get some oil, light oil and light wax we will we'll also get. So, it will be gas phase it is coming here. So, it is going out as a vapor and then it is coming some gas and vapor. So, gas is recycled and the condensed part is coming out that is we are talking about light oil and light wax and this is wax from the bottom of the reactor we are getting. So, this light wax and heavy wax these two wax will be hydro cracked here. So, after hydro cracking the there will be the conversions of the high molecular weight paraffins to low molecular weight paraffins and uh, then we will get the distillation and we will get different fractions. So, we will get off gas 
that can be combustion as flare and then naphtha we can get kerosene, we can get distillate, diesel, FT fuel, other FT products. So, that way we can get the liquid fuels from the natural gas. Now, these reactions at what part we are taking the reactions and what type of catalyst we can use that will influence the distributions of these different products and that part we will go to discuss now. So, here we uh, see the process conditions and catalyst. So, H2 by CO ratio is 2 to 2.2 and then pressure is 15 to 30 bar and temperature as we mentioned there are two temperature range uh, has been reported that is 325 to 370 degree centigrade high temperature and low temperature 220 to 270 degree centigrade. Obviously, we will see the variations in the product quality by the application of different temperature range and GHSB gas hourly space velocity is 700 per hour and the catalyst basically has been used is iron based, cobalt based and ZSM pipe supported bimetallic FT catalyst for gasoline synthesis. So, this FE based iron based catalyst are fuel flexible, but CO based catalyst suitable for high hydrogen by CO ratio and preferable for natural gas based syn gas. So, we are talking about natural gas. So, CO will be preferred for this case and uh, as you mentioned we have two temperature range one is 3 to 350 another is 220 to 270 degree centigrade and under these two different operations we will see the distributions of the product. So, here high temperature range means 330 to 300 to 350 degree centigrade we are getting C 5 plus is equal to 50 to 80 percent and here we are getting C 5 plus 20 to 30 percent. So, low wax we are getting high temperature, low percentage of low wax, lower percentage of low wax and here we are getting 50 percent of wax. So, wax we are getting higher when the temperature is less and gasoline to diesel ratio at high temperature we are getting more gasoline at low temperature we are getting more diesel and high temperature we are getting certain number 50 to 60, low temperature we are getting certain number 80. So, at lower temperature we are getting diesel, more diesel with more certain number. So, depending upon the need in the market we can choose what type of FT synthesis reaction uh, we will prefer at low temperature or high temperature. Now, we will show some uh, commercial plant available in the world for this uh, liquid fuel production from the natural gas. So, one is uh, Australia here, then Qatar and Italy and South Africa and then Malaysia. So, here some plants are already available on the base of natural gas and these are the capacity. So, we see here these are very big capacity also and uh, we did, did they have used proprietary catalyst and some iron based and proprietary catalyst not shown here, but the technology licensors are sale and actions with any and ISP and gas LTM technology is also uh, used some cases. So, these are the technology licensors and we also see that the plants are not very old it is started in 90s and uh, 2006 one like this. Now, we are coming to methanol synthesis. So, methanol can be produced from syn gas. So, how we will do it? So, this is our biomass waste to syn gas, but in our case this is uh, methane reforming then it will give us syn gas. So, then that syn gas which we are getting that will be converted to methanol. So, what is the condition? We need one catalyst that is copper based cassette catalyst has been used widely and copper, zinc oxide, alumina and then H 2 is to CO ratio 2 is to 1 and this is the reactions. So, that way we can produce methanol overall reactions very simple way I have mentioned here, but this is not very simple because it is uh, gas phase gas and solid phase reaction. So, I will discuss more then for this conversion two technology licensors are are capturing the market basically. So, one is your ICI technology 
another is your Lurgi technology. So, this uh, ICI process was first commercialized in 1970 and currently accounts for more than 70 percent of undergoing projects. So, this ICI process, uh, this ICI process is uh, having more application. Now, we will see what are the reactions which take place during this uh, methanol synthesis. So, obviously, we have seen gas. So, CO and H 2 we have, so, it is giving CH 3 OH and we need some carbon dioxide for the initiation of the methanol reactions and so that CO 2 H 2 CO plus H 2 and it is believed that CO is first converted to CO 2 and then CO 2 uh, reacts with CO and H 2 and then it gives methanol. So, this CO 2 plus this H 2 this is the major reactions for methanol synthesis. So, for this different reactions we have different LH value as mentioned here, some are getting exothermic, some are getting endothermic. So, the one important conditions or pre-requirement to get, get required uh, conversion of syngas to methanol, the R value that is I discussed that H 2 is to CO ratio that is around equal to 2, it is used for this application, but here later the another factor has been developed because of this complex reaction scenario that is what is R is equal to it is given here H 2 minus C O 2 divided by C O plus C O 2. So, this what is the concentration of these 4 gases uh, these 3 gases that will give uh, the R value as with this expression. So, R value is basically around 2 when we maintain it at around 2 we get suitable conversions of the syn gas to methanol and as it is a, as, as it is a uh, solid gas phase reaction uh, in the conventional reactors. So, one pass conversions of C O is around 25 percent. So, that is the that is why we need a very big reactor for the conversion of syn gas to methanol and the process operates at 220 to 250 degree centigrade and 5 to 8 mega Pascal pressure and uses a series of catalytic adiabatic reactor beds. So, this is the features of the important features of the methanol synthesis reactions. So, apart from those major reactions here some other reactions takes place as you see here methanol is converted to CH 3 O O C H 3 um, dimethyl ether and then dimethyl ether to hydrocarbons and plus H 2 O and this methanol plus C O plus 2 H 2 O that can also give us C H 3 C H 2 O H. So, what we are getting some side reactions are going on in this reactor that produces hydrocarbons higher hydrocarbons higher alcohols even some amount of ether. So, these are the, the other reactions which can take place. So, we can get say syn gas R will around 2. So, methanol reactors we can get the unconverted syn gas recycling and then methanol purifications. So, this is the concept of methanol production and the catalyst uh, basically copper and zinc oxide based catalyst and other catalyst have been used uh, chromium zinc oxide, zirconium potassium, zirconium manganese potassium and uh, zirconium zinc oxide and high pressure 240 to 300 bar. So, this is not that efficient one because high pressure and high temperature is required. So, once we get the, the methanol, so that can be used as a building block for different types of chemicals. Some of the chemicals which we can get as mentioned here, we can get dimethyl ether, we can get ethylene, we can get propylene, we can get polyolefins, we can get oxochemicals, methyl acetate, acetic anhydride, acetic acid, acetate ester, ketene, diacetine, etcetera and many more. So, Conventionally, methanol is produced in a gas solid phase reactor and heterogeneous catalysts are used and we have already seen that 25 percent conversion is possible and the catalyst requires high purity of the syn gas. If small amount of sulphur is present, then the catalyst life uh, reduces and it, it harms the whole process. So, 
to eliminate those limitations, the low temperature, low pressure methanol synthesis methods are being developed and in this case, we use some homogeneous phase reactions and then um, homogeneous catalysts are used. Some examples is Brookhaven National Laboratory BNL method. So, they have a homogeneous nickel catalyst and alkoxide in an organic solvent that is trimethylene glycol dimethyl ether trigilim. So, this, this organic solvent is used where nickel catalyst and alkoxides are mixed. Then in this liquid phase syn gas is passed through it and reaction takes place. Another is methyl formate formation method. So, this, this employs a mixture of copper based oxide and alkoxide as a catalyst. So, one is nickel based catalyst another is copper based base catalyst and then alkoxide and this trigilim media solvent the people have used and studied the conversion of syn gas to methanol. And basic reactions has been reported as CS 3 OH plus CO H CO CS 3 particularly for methyl formate process. So, I are getting methyl formate and then methyl formate is further converted to methanol. Okay. So, both these processes we see here this requires around 100 degree centigrade and it requires 20 to 25 bar unlike say 60 to 80 or 90 bar or somewhere 200 bar we are getting here by 20 to 25 bar and temperature is also less 100 degree centigrade. So, now it has been reported that if we can use some nano catalyst based uh, nano material based catalyst then this performance will can be further increased, but this is under development stage and not in commercial scale. Now, we will see how we will select the reactor type, what will be the type of reactor for the methanol synthesis. So, this is the thumb rule we can say that is the reactor selections for methanol synthesis we have given here say we have liquid liquid reactions may take place and liquid solid reaction may take place, liquid gas solid reaction may take place, gas liquid solid reaction can take place. So, different types of phases may be available during the reactor and depending upon that we can select a particular type of reactor for that to perform that specific reaction. In our case we have um, syn gas that is CO plus H 2 in gas phase and then solid catalyst. So, we, we need gas and solid. So, this is our domain we have to choose. So, for this applications we get multi bed reactor, multi tubular reactor, fluorized bed reactors and monolithic reactor. So, these reactors are more suitable for the conversions of syn gas to methanol. As we have discussed there is a multi tubular reactor is, is commercially used, tubular reactor is used uh, commercially um, in, in most of the technology available in market. And uh, we see the typical plant operation the catalyst lifetime is about 2 years, but if sulphur is present then it reduces. So, sulphur condition sulphur in the syn gas should be less than 0 0.5 ppm. 0 0.5 ppm. Catalyst deactivation also occurs due to thermal sintering of catalyst above 300 degree centigrade copper oxide starts to crystallize which reduces the activity of catalyst. And then plant economy is the function of operating temperature pressure and recycle ratio and uh, as you have discussed the carbon dioxide is required for this reactions and 5 to 8 percent of carbon dioxide in syngas feed is required to initiate the methanol synthesis reactions and temperature of the reactor is controlled by controlling steam pressure through cell side and we see the reaction mechanism. So, we overall reactions although we have CO plus H2O it is giving up CO2 plus H2 and then CH3OH. So, carbon monoxide is converted to CO2 and then it is giving us methanol this is the overall reaction, but how it happens this is not very so simple then ferment proposed a redox type of mechanism. So, here carbon dioxide. So, what happens in this case? So, we are using your uh, syn gas and it is going through the catalyst bed. So, diffusion of the gas molecules through the pores is the first step then then active sites are there in the catalyst. So, reactions are the at active, active site takes place. So, now in carbon dioxide it is it is coming with this uh, active site say solid S plus. So, that is it is giving us O 2 plus O S 
solid and then CO or it can also give this OS one OS and another S carbon dioxide can also mix with this and gives us CO3 2 S two sides combinedly it can give CO3 dot 2 S. Then CO3 2 S some ages may combine and give this one further this can combine with another S and then it can give this one. So, that way different types of products intermediate products are formed and here also we can get OS which we are getting that can react with HS another site containing hydrogen. So, that can give us this one similarly this this one. So, this ultimately we are getting H 2 O we are ultimately getting C S 3 O H and here hydrogen is added CO 2 and hydrogen that we are talking about CO 2 and hydrogen. So, this hydrogen is converted to 2 H S. So, this is the source for H S and this is the source of H S. So, this is the scheme through which the methanol and water is formed this is proposed by Froment and they have modeled the reaction. Now, coming to DME synthesis. So, DME synthesis we can get um, here as we have seen that methanol to DME just dehydration reaction is required. So, we can get the methanol first from the syngas then dehydration we will be using some special catalyst and after dehydration we will get the DME or direct from syngas to DME is also possible using another type of catalyst bifunctional catalyst we can do it. But here basics will be we are having here biomass waste it is shown, but we can use methane also then gasification will be replaced by reforming and then we will get syngas and this will be the reaction. So, already we have discussed this one and this is this is methanol is dehydration and DME or this is direct route also, but here we see H 2 C O requirement is 1 is to 1, but here we need 2 is to 1 for methanol then for the dehydration. So, this is the difference between the H 2 by C O requirement for these two routes and this is your uh, flow sheet say natural gas it will go through reformer. So, if it is steam reforming then we can get more hydrogen, hydrogen can be separated and 1 is to 1 is 2 by C O requirement for direct method and 2 is to 1 for methanol synthesis route. So, that is 2 to 2.5 is maintained here rest hydrogen is recovered and uh, and then it is going to methanol and then methanol unconverted syngas then it is dehydrated and uh, for dehydration it is going to DME reactor and after dehydration we will get uh, DME, DME will be separated and again if unconverted methanol that will be recycled back here for the further DME conversion and here we will be getting the water. So, this is the flow sheet through which uh, the DME can be produced from the natural gas. So, DME synthesis we see uh, reactions and catalyst. So, is using dehydration catalyst like alumina along with uh, copper zinc and alumina based catalyst we can get DME from the methanol and uh, if we get DME then it has low ignition temperature very high C10 number and high oxygen content very low particulate emissions that is the advantage of DME and it is uh, it is suitable as source of hydrogen for fuel cells it can also be used as additive to biofuels to improve their ignition characteristics. LPG substitute and diesel engine it has versatile application and then these are the technology licensors for DME that is Chevron, Haldot Topso, Total, NKK, Mitsui etcetera. Now, we will see some example of DME plants. So, China's is the leader of DME synthesis and China's current annual output of DME is 1,20,000 tons and it plans to produce 20 million tons of DME based on coal feed stocks by 2020 and already on the roll is uh, 2 lakhs tons coal to DME plant at Shanghai. So, coal to syngas and like this. So, natural gas can also be processed like this to syngas natural gas to syngas and that syngas to DME and uh, other countries which are taking strides in setting up DME plants are Japan, Iran, Russia and Qatar. And what there are some issues with syngas utilization from 
stranded natural gas. So, natural gas may be available in some uh, remote area in less amount in that case the technology should be different. So, small scale reactor are basically needed for that application and uh, it has been reported that the gas to liquid conversion processes can be economically feasible when the plant capacity is very high that is 30,000 barrels per day or more, but these stranded natural gases will be having less uh, reserve and it is in remote area. So, uh, we need to convert it at lesser amount so, that is why it is uh, it requires some uh, development in the reactor side. So, small scale plants for fuel production from syngas is required and recently smaller scale GTL plants are designed to be economic at 1500 barrel per day to 15000 barrel per day. So, initially it was reported 30000 barrel per day will be economic, but un, due to the development in the reactor side now it is possible to 1500 barrel per day to 15000 barrel per day the velocities have reported it. And then uh, the velocities first commercial plant is now under construction in this um, the plant is jointly venture between velocities waste management. Another plant in planning stage is uh, Astabula Ohio near Lake Erie using natural gas from the Marcella cell. So, initial production will be 2800 barrel per day. And then Oberon fuel they has developed small scale methanol plant which can utilize syngas from natural gas as well as biogas containing 50 percent of carbon dioxide and typical capacity of the plant using syngas derived from natural gas as well as biogas is 10,000 gallons per day DME or 11,300 gallons per day methanol and footprint of the plant is 40,000 square feet and feedstock required is 12 lakhs 40,000 standard cubic feet natural gas per day, 15 lakhs 40,000 standard cubic feet biogas per day. So, uh, we have discussed on the processes how to convert liquid fuel from the syngas which is which can be derived from the natural gas. So, up to this in this class thank you very much for your patience.